How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here, back again with some more Brawlhalla content for you guys today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day. So be before we begin the video, let's go ahead and recap the progress that I've made in the Battle Pass. So I made a video showcasing the entire Battle Pass. We went over everything there is to get and, and we played some games with the new Octavius Mordex. That was a really fun video. And as you can see, I've made a little bit of progress. Since the last video, I got some uh, Code of Lions colors. You can see all the legends there that I was able to unlock Code of Lions for. So far, only one, two, three, four, five, six legends. But, you know, it's not a big deal. We'll get the Universal eventually. I would like a Scythe legend, though, in the Code of Arms. Still haven't gotten a Scythe legend. I did get the Gravedigger emote. Got these pretty nice looking gauntlets. But the best thing I got so far, other than the, like, Mordex skin, of course, is this Stain Legacy loading frame. I do have it equipped already, so you guys will get to see it. It looks so beautiful. And then I unlocked this Booming Belfry Cannon as well. So we're definitely gonna take a look at this cannon and use it for at least one game, because I have actually yet to even use it. I did unlock it, but I never used it. And hopefully we'll unlock maybe something else uh, pretty soon. I don't know, we'll see. This is where I'm at on missions. I only have one mission left to do. And that is get a KO in a 1v1 match before taking 50 damage. And you have to do it 10 times! 10 times! It's, it's actually pretty hard to do against diamond players, but I, I did manage to do 4. Uh, so hopefully we'll work on that this episode as well. And I unlocked level 2 Octavius Mordex. So <laughs> now I have to get 100 KOs with active inputs. And by the way guys, if you want to know the fastest way to get active input KOs, Literally, just go to Free For All, pick Volkov, and do his side, side sig over and over and over and hold forward. You'll get so many KOs. I was getting like six or seven KOs every game doing that. It didn't take that long. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. That's kind of boring to watch. So let's go into 1v1. Uh, let's play Octavius Mordex level 2. Oh, man. Let's look at the colors for Octavius Mordex level 2. I've actually yet to play a game with this skin. Ooh, that one looks really good. Look at the orange around his eyes. That looks really nice. This will be the first time I play with level two Octavius Mordek. This this kind of puts him halfway between werewolf and halfway between a human, but clearly a little more werewolf than human here. He's even got werewolf uh, feet. <laughs> Man, that looks really good. Unfortunately, I don't have the Code of Lions color scheme. But even the default looks pretty close to it. Right, we also, of course, got the level 2 Scythe and the level 2 Gauntlets, look, which look pretty awesome. So uh, I think we're going to go base stance and let's go ahead and jump into a 1v1 with Octavius Mordex. After this, uh, I do want to play that new cannon skin. I have yet to use the new cannon skin as well, so I'm not sure which cannon legend we're going to pick. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if I have a cannon legend uh, with... The coat of arms? Do I have uh, the color for a cannon legend? I, I don't even remember, so <laughs> even though I just looked at the <laughs> legends that I have those colors with, I don't even remember. Alright, here we go. Going against a Petra Varial. Very cool. Looks like she's using the... Uh... You can drink that. I'll drink my Mountain Dew. Gauntlets versus Gauntlets, I, I don't really like a lot. I've never been a big fan of it because, I don't know, I, I just don't like how people react to how I play gauntlets, but it's all good. Uh-oh. Bro. Woohoohoo! She almost got me with the neutral air. Oh, man. Am I going to get all my KOs in the death pit again? Oh yeah, come get some, Petra! Uh-oh. That would have been such a cool combo. Unfortunately, it didn't get the finish. Oh gosh, he, he wants to... 
All right, I need active inputs. Another way to easily get active input KOs is to just use scythe and hold side light or hold down light forward. Like that. And like that. See what I mean? That's an active input. And now I'm one of 100. <laughs> I'll do 99 more and I get the Octavius Mordex level 3, guys. We're almost there. Yo! Okay, I knew he was going to do that. And I still got bopped. All right. We have a pretty good advantage here as far as uh, damage and stocks. Gosh, I'm so bad with gauntlets today. I don't know what it is. I just feel slow. I think it's because I've been playing too many different legends lately that... I don't know. I'm just not in the zone for gauntlets. I've been playing a lot of scythe though, so my scythe is pretty good. It's okay if we even lose this stock because we're still winning. And honestly, I don't intend to lose this stock. Oh my goodness, he hit with a down sig on Petra. That's impressive, I gotta admit. Okay, well, final stock. The down sig on Petra is always hard to hit, especially not when you're not even like off stage. Oh, I didn't get the active input. I wanted to do a down sig, but he was a little bit out of range, so I had to do that side sig. GG, dude, GG. First game with Octavius Bordex level two is a win. Let's go, baby. Look at all that progress. One out of a hundred on the active input KOs. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. We're gonna have to do the free for all games, like I said. Um, let's see. Do I have coat of arms for any canon legend? Let me look. One way you can look is just go like this. Uh, no. I do not. Alright, well, let's do... Onyx, how about? And let's check out the new canon skin. Mm -hmm. Oh, it actually looks really good with this onyx skin in particular that's why i picked onyx but i kind of want to see oh my goodness it looks so good in other colors too the cannon skin that is it looks beautiful oh my gosh i think version 2 esports is where we're going that looked so good like instantly caught my eye oh yeah all right let's try the booming belfry cannon for the first time oh man it looks really good what do you guys think of this? It looks really good to me. All right, we're going against Awesome Soccer Guy. That's cool. All right, here we go. Three, Booming two, Belfry. One, Give me the win. I like the uh, Skyforged. Is that Bordex? I think it is. That's a Bordex, right? Are you here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Hey, man. Whatever you gotta do. We gotta be careful, though. He's <laughs> He clearly knows how to play Scythe. But, as with uh, a lot of Scythe players, they end up killing themselves going for really cool clips. <laughs> and in that, in that case, it was a cool clip, but it, it didn't really help him win the game, because we both died. I feel like this guy practices those uh, zero to death strings and nothing else. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> what? He's just literally just trying to do zero to death. He's like trying to, to lure me into a, a position to where he can start his string. Or maybe he's just trying to do active input KOs. I don't know. Either way, he has a very different kind of playstyle than most people. That's okay. Ooh, nice one, nice one. Alright, well, we got him to final stocks. Even though he zeroed to death both of us on the first stock. <laughs> Not even just me. Like, he zeroed to death both of us. Don't jump. Oh, he didn't. All right, final stocks. Let's get this win, baby. Booming Belfry 
with Onyx. I'm not the best cannon player, but I can get the job done. Let's go. Oh, you lost your scythe now. What you gonna do? Nothing. GG, dude. GG. <laughs> what a match. What a weird match. All right. That was... Okay. We're moving on. I suppose we have a little bit of time left, and I've already shown you the main things I wanted to show you, which was the Octavius Mordex level 2 and the Boobig Belfry Cannon. So I guess we're going to show you guys how I like to grind these Battle Pass mission wins. So these active input attacks. Let me show you how this is done, boys. Let me show you how this is done. Let's go Volkov. And uh, you know what? I can use the level 2 Mordex Scythe. How about that? Just so people know. People know. Oh, look. He has the level 2 Octavius Mordex Scythe. That's pretty dope. Look at that. That's what we're using. And we'll use the Esports version too. Uh, but we're going to go free for all lobby. Definitely pick straight uh, strength stance. So that way you can hit harder. And all you're going to basically do it is doing side six, side six, side six. And I mean... As is expected, anytime a new battle pass comes out and you have a bunch of people trying to do the same missions, everybody in Free Fall is going to be spamming for the most part. It's literally just a spam fest, and that's okay. Every now and then, you can actually find people that will help you complete the missions. It's kind of cheating, but I don't know. Like, you'll go into Free Fall and you'll find somebody that just wants to let you get the, you know, the active input KOs, so you take turns giving them to each other. But for the most part, everybody just tries to kill each other, and you're just going to have to try to get those on your own. Alright, this guy... Alright, Zul, you're, you're ruining. You're ruining. Actually, Zul's trying to get those uh, reverse sigs. I already got the reverse sigs. I don't need those. But what I do need is active input. Alright, let's go for those. Alright, Volkov's doing it. Volkov knows what's up. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do the active input. You gotta hold forward. Oh, there we go. See? Got both. And another one. You can even slide off and do it that way, but... All three Volkovs are trying to do the same thing, basically. Yeah, baby, we got him. Now this guy. Hold it. Still got it. Alright, so I think we got two or three already that way. Another good way to do it is if you're in a 1v1 and the other person rage quits or something and quits early, you can do whatever you want to the bot for the most part. Like, that Zolbot just got bopped. It is literally just side six spam for days, boys. And that's how we're going to get these missions. Oops. It don't even matter who wins or who loses. Like, I'm literally only trying to get those side six KOs. And you get the Zul, or you get the level three Mordex. You can also use the axe and do that, but it's a little bit harder to do that. You can also just use Scythe Light Attacks, but again, it, it can be hard. The force on the side sig of Scythe is so hard that it's literally the best way. Oh, we got another one right there. No, I want to... No, the bot is going to kill me. Double kill, nope. All right. Let's get some more. Get some more. We got time. Ooh, that guy might get one. Oh, nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh my goodness, just killed myself. Whoops. I was trying to do gravity cancel side sig, and it just didn't work out. All right, let's see how many KOs we got with active input. Probably at least three or four, right? Wait. None? Wait. It didn't even show any? 
But we leveled up and we got coat of arms. Oh, or coat of lions. That looks really good for Thatch. It looks really good on almost everybody. Wait, there's no way I got none. Yeah, I got five. Because I was at one. So now we're at six. See? Very easy. You get five every match. It won't take that long. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you got your Octavius Mordex level two or even level three. I saw some people already got the level three. You crazy. And, uh, yeah, let me know where you're at on the battle pass. And, yeah, if you need help on emote on Chorus Platform, I actually made a video on this. This is a remake. Uh, or a re <laughs> it's, they're reusing the challenge from a previous battle pass. But, basically, go to Blackguard Keep and emote on the platform. Anyways, this is Lucian Sword. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.